Hi class, this is Pamela Price, Prof P with Jumpstart Code. Want to add on to our last lesson about lists and talk about how we can nest lists, how we can have lists inside of lists. So let's jump right into what we're going to do here. So I've got a page here and I am going to, um, let's say we're going to make a list of um, states and cities in those states most populous states and cities right one of the very important lessons to learn about coding is to take things slow step by step so i have this idea of this set of nested lists but i want to do one at a time so i'm going to start with my ordered i'm going to use an ordered list and let's say inside of this, I will put three list items. I will put California. I will put Texas. And I will put Florida. All right? We want to make sure this part works. You always have to code and debug things one step at a time. So let's refresh this page and we see that we have that right now what i would like to do is underneath one i would like to list some cities that are in california so that is a list underneath a list so let's see if we can think how to put that in there so here is my list item california underneath that I want to put another list and I'm going to just do a mixture so we can see that we can have an ordered list inside of an unordered list or either way. Also, you guys notice this indenting that I'm doing here. This is not random. This is very purposeful. It helps you to sort of see what is connected to what. So after my California item, I am going to start a new unordered list. And so inside of here, and you notice the indenting, my editor brackets is actually helping me to do this indenting. So I'm going to put in here Los Angeles, and let's put another one, San Francisco. All right, let's see if this works. So we save it. We refresh the page. Ah, and we see that we have a list inside of a list, right? <coughs> and we can sort of see from the indenting here, right? This is California. Underneath it is an unordered list. So now that that works, I know how to continue to do this. So, and just to show you, they can be, again, mixtures of ordered and unordered lists. But every list has to have the, the, its opening and closing tag. And then you have to have list items inside. So I'll put Houston, Dallas. So we can have different numbers of things. And Austin in here. So let's save. Here's my page. Refresh it. And. So you see we have, so I did, let's just move this so we can see it. I have an ordered list whose items are California, Texas, and Florida. So those are my one, two, three. After California, I started an unordered list. So those are just do, using the bullets with these two uh, cities in it. Then here is Texas, the second of the outside list, and I've started a new list inside of that. So it's very important though that you line all these things up properly. If I, for example, I don't know, let's forget um, a few of these closing tags, not have them in the right place. I'm gonna change that one, you see? Now I see some red going on here. Then that's probably telling me that there is going to be a problem. And if I refresh this page, you see things are not what I expect. 
So it's very important to pay attention to use this indenting to always know, you know, here is an opening tag. Here is the closing tag for this list, right? Here's opening and closing. Here's the opening and closing. Here's the opening. Now I'm missing a closing tag. Let's see what's going to happen if I do this. Because sometimes, yeah, so it's still not what I want, right? So even though I don't see any red over here, it's not what I want. So I have to go through and try to check everything and see, okay, there's an opening. And see, it's confused. It's probably kind of thinking that these things are all together. And that's why Houston, Dallas, Austin, and Florida are all coming together. Ah, and here down here is where I see that there's some closing tag that's missing. So you always want to make sure and look at your whole file and see what's going on. And did you see what just happened there? The minute I go in here and I type the slash, my brackets editor knew what was the last tag that needed to be closed and it closed it up properly for me. So the most important thing when building your web page is to take it in small pieces because the syntax is very particular and it's very easy to make, you know, simple mistakes. So um, make sure you add things one at a time. Now that I know how to do this, if I want to now add my cities under Florida, then I know very easily how to do that just depending on which type of list I want. And then in here again, list items, uh, Miami. Maybe I only have one that goes under there. So now we see that we have nested lists and they can be any combination of nesting inside of here. 